What's up guys, it makes me vibes here. Look, I wanted to make a quick video. I get so tired of people talking about what's masculine, what's feminine, right? I think in today's time, it's such a, it's such a heavy topic. Because you over on this side, you have the masculine guys with the red pill and the black pill, blue pill, right? And the manosphere, which you have over here, you have the women over here, we consider feminine in their movement in, in, in hot girl summer and being independent and what they think is more feminine and things. I think I think it's interchangeable. Just just hear me out for a second. We have been conditioned. I know it might be biological, some people might say, but I think we've been conditioned to like the things we like because we've been told to. You know what I mean? I think I think back in the day it was more you know, people wouldn't come out. Now we see it's June, it's June, so now it's Pride Month and we see more people, you know, um, you know, being celebrated and I think that's a good thing. But as far as what is masculinity, I don't think you can have one single definition because I think it's different for everybody. You might, you might look at me, you might not. I really don't care, but you might say, oh, Mac is masculine, Mac is not masculine. But I think it's, it's on a... I won't say spectrum because I know that's a, uh, a word that people y'all can use, but I think it's it's not necessarily rooted into one thing, right? When you when we when we I mean as society think about masculine, we think about you know either guys with be guys with beards, right? We think about men doing the heavy lifting. We think about the traditional roles that men have had throughout society, whether that's you know being a protector, of course, or going to the gym, lifting weights, you know, keeping your body in shape, you know what I mean? Having a, a deeper voice, right? And that's all basic, you know, like surface level stuff as far as what people consider masculine is. Um, but I think that, I think if you move, personally, I feel, I'm not speaking for the manosphere. I'm not speaking for anybody else. I'm not speaking for Red Peel. I am speaking for Mac Brown only. I think if you choose to focus on that, if you choose to say, I'm just going to be masculine and this, I think what you end up doing is this is why people have created the toxic ma masculinity. Now, do I necessarily just believe in it? I think, no, not necessarily. I think men can have toxic traits, but I just won't call it tox toxic masculinity as a whole. I just think that, you know, one thing is particularly that men like to categorize as feminine is things like, oh, of course, my nose ring or, you know, men crying but it's weird because it's like the creator or you know yashua whoever you want to say the universe like we have tear ducts the same as women so like if we if men were not supposed to cry why do we have the same tear ducts that women have right we talk about being emotional that's another thing that you know men like to say let's be logical let's not be emotional and i understand and i think that for both genders or any gender i think that i think of course, there's a time to be emotional, yes, and there's a time to be logical. And I think for both sexes, I think we we should be emotional and we should also be logical. But to just chump it up and say, oh no, a man showing his emotion is feminine? Like, no, fuck that, I don't subscribe to that. That's what I think, that's the thing. Like for me in my life, I personally choose, for my definition, what's masculine and feminine. And I don't go off of what society deem is as those terms what fits into that those boxes right because to me they're boxes if i think when i think about my creator whoever made me what again when you want to call him god of the universe i think about the creator being all consciousness at once which means he's also feminine he's also masculine i mean you know if you want to say those two categories he's everything at once he or she is everything at once and so for me to sit here and move on this 3D plane, right, this earth, and just to be like, I'm just gonna be masculine all the time, you know, fuck women, this, 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 I'm gonna be a hardcore, hard ass, like, no, bro, like, that's, that's unnecessary to me. Honestly, it is. It's very unnecessary because in the same way, you know, we look at females, right, we look at women and we say, you know, the things that they're doing, right, whether that's, you know, trying to be the man in, quote unquote, the man in the relationship or the leader, we look at those things like that's masculine. Yes, I can see where men are coming from. I can see where people are coming from at the same time. You know what I mean? It's also because there was a certain time when women couldn't vote, couldn't do certain things. And so now they feel like 
You know, it's 2022. They feel more liberated. They're able to do those things. Now, you ask them, they wouldn't consider that, you know, masculine. But th but to men, they are because men are used to being the leaders. I'm just, long story short, I'm not trying to ramble. I'm just saying, stop subscribing to all of this terminology. Whether it's blue pill, red pill, alpha, omega, this, 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 like, sigma male. Like, get rid of all that shit, man. Because what, what happened is, and, and I'm telling you personally because I went down that road, you'll start to really move within this box and you can't see, your conscious will not allow you to see anything outside of that, right? So automatically, a man crying is feminine. Automatically, a man doing this is feminine. Like it's only feminine based on your bias point of view, right? There's no bylaws that the creator had that, oh, this is what a man, this is what a woman is supposed to do. You see what I mean? Like, of course, you know, man, woman, transgender, whatever, they're going to have people, individual people are going to have, you know, things that they like in a, in a woman. I like a woman to be this, this, this. I like for a man to be a leader, this, 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 a wolf, an alpha. I understand those things, but please do not <laughs> subscribe to that. You form your own opinion, your own judgment on what you think it means to you. Not what the masses say, not what this say. You know what I mean? Like I have a homie, you know, who lives in Austin. I'm not gonna say his name. Yeah, he's probably watching this video, what's up? But you know, he paints his nails. And, and I remember back in college, like for the longest, I was like, you know, when I first started seeing guys paint their nails, I'm like, man, that's gay. Get that gay shit out of here. I'm being honest, but you know, now in 2022, like I've realized that that shit is so surface level. Like somebody painting their nails. So fucking like, so what, bro? Like, I'm just being honest. Like, that's the thing. <laughs> if you look at that and say, man, that's, that's gay or that's feminine. Don't you understand? That's so limiting of a belief. You know what I mean? That you would shun somebody for painting their nails, for again, getting those or even a septum. For getting their ears pierced, you know what I mean? Like, or for the longest, I thought a woman getting a tattoo was, you know, masculine. And I can understand, always, oh, it started like this and inmates getting tattoos, or even back, you know, in tribal days, you know, Indians getting tattoos to mark themselves and different things. But a woman having a tattoo does not make her any more or less masculine. Just in my eyes, I mean, can you coincide that? With being masculine, maybe you can, but at the same time, I, I just choose not to subscribe to all of that. So, long story short, I just I'm just encouraging you not to subscribe to that and to choose your own form of what you think is right. Because if we start to go based on society right now and what we deem is right or wrong, or a man shouldn't be doing this, a woman definitely shouldn't be doing this, like bro, that's all a distraction. It's like I made my video. Get rid of the distractions. All of that is the distractions. You've get you you've gathered all of that information from what your peers, parents, school, uh, religion, whatever has taught you, and now you this has formed your bias now. So now that any anybody outside of that bias is automatically wrong, you're automatically right. Isn't that convenient? Isn't that convenient that your opinion is right? Hmm. All right. Isn't 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 it convenient that your opinion based on what a man and woman shouldn't do is the way and everybody else's way outside of that is wrong you are automatically right anyway i digress just think about it okay and move how you see fit all right